I hope you're doing good, guys. Um, this is a really big deal for me, and it's a really big deal for a lot of the Battlefield community. Um, it's the first Battlefield modern era shooter in around, I think, seven or eight years. And that's when they probably dropped support for Battlefield 4 pretty much six years ago. Um, so it's a big deal for me, and I know a lot of you players out there. Um, I mean, it's big, isn't it? It's Battlefield era, looking back from... I think it all really started with Bad Company 1, but I didn't play that myself. But Bad Company 2, I did manage to play, and it was amazing. But yeah, it was set back a bit into the, I think, 80s, 70s, 80s. But it was really good, and you had the tanks, and still, um, I think the Viper was in it. So maybe it was going into the 1890s. I think it was going into the 90s. And then we had Battlefield 3, which was just amazing. It's still the best Battlefield ever to date. Um, hold that pause till I see and play this. Um, but basically then we went into Battlefield 4, just over a year later from Battlefield 3, and I felt that was always too soon, and I still feel that was too soon. It kind of ruined Battlefield 3 moment. Because Battlefield 3, you had some amazing, like, there was no lag in it. It was just, everything was just drop, shot, 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 hit. Just like Bad Company 2 was. It was amazing. It just worked the way it should have done. And it was the total opposite of Call of Duty because you didn't have that whole run, gun and kill rapidly. It was just play the objective, which really gave you a chance to breathe if you were a lone wolf or if you were even a team player, it gave you a chance to really integrate yourself into a team. So, I mean, this is a big deal, guys. This is a big thing. Um, and I really want to do a moment with a lot of you guys out there. So, we've got All Out Warfare. I mean, this is just going to be the battlefield 3 battlefield 4 that we all know type warfare you got hazard zone special operations this is going to be a squad game and um, this is more tight-knitted missions and um, community type missions and um, smaller really integrated teams i mean you can think um i'm trying to think what you can think of it i can't remember some of the games that used to do it, but i think they're a good five six years ago now a lot of games used to do this type of thing and it's basically that it's a smaller operations game for just like four to eight players um, and then you got Portal, of course. You'll remember we pointed out on some of the trials, some of the videos and the trailers, that some of the helicopters, there's no way they were like 2021. Never mind, say 2042. So we pointed out that some of them vehicles were older. And, of course, we know now that Battlefield Portal, you're allowed to bring in older vehicles and characters and weaponry from older games. For instance, Battlefield 1942. The original download and um, that was the original console game um, and from that to bad company to battlefield 3 and 4 and that's where obviously you see the viper coming in and portal so that's why we've seen some of the old vehicles hazard zone again we've talked about it smaller missions we'll get into that another time and then this is it guys warfare so this is it this is a big deal like this is a big thing um wow i mean just straight up we're running 4k here guys so um, I don't think we've got HDR on. We're not running HDR. I'll do a couple of different videos for you guys, and I'll show you HDR, 4K. I'll show you RTX, high res, and I'll I'll do them separately. But this is just clear, clean cut 4K. And I mean, look at that. I mean, that guy's reacting. It's a pity his lips are not moving, but we've got conquest here, guys. So it's a natural conquest. Play the objective. Now we did have a whole terms and conditions back there, and it was strange. It mentioned race, religion. Um, sex discrimination treat others how you want to be treated which was strange but it's a lot of games are doing it now but then they mixed in in the exact same paragraph and um, it's important that you play the objective and I, I felt that was funny because that's the whole difference between battlefield and let's say a call of duty type shooter call of duty just run gun smash in the face battlefield you just really are squad based objective based and they were basically mixing the discrimination with that and i found it really funny but yeah of course obviously nobody wants discrimination in games or in any type of community or any type of area in life so that's cool um play the objective yeah if you don't play the objective it's the same as discrimination you're going to get the boot and um, that's what they're saying here so yeah play the objective guys go after the flag get the tank drive it the right way and um, so we've got 128 players conquest i mean we're straight in here let's have a quick look I don't, I don't want to miss none of this, guys. I want this to just be fresh and raw for you guys. So what we've got, we've got Orbital, and we know it's the launch. Wow, the map is cool. We've got Cryogenic Plant, Launch Platform, Security Checkpoint. We've got the normal squad base game here, bottom left. So we've got McKay, um, who's Assault, Attack, Flank, Destroy. 
We've got the engineer here, Boris, and that says defend for us, I improvise. And we've got weak on Casper. I mean, lone wolf, observe, infiltrate, eliminate. And then we've got support, Falk. But don't stop them, they'll take every sector. And she's supplying the team to survive. So we, f we click him first and we go over M5A3. Um, this is going to be short range, DMR um, and sniper. Yeah, so we're going to go. Yeah, it's going to be this, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's just have a look. Look, so wow, there's the M. There's a the launch people. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we're just straight in here. I mean, I'll be honest, straight away, guys, just straight off the bat, this is just fresh and raw. Oh, it's a bit rubbery. It's a bit bouncer, it's not the heavy that we used to from Battlefield 3. If you remember when we went from the switch from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4, and it got really laggy and it was really, really hard for a lot of players to go across, including myself. Um, and we recognised that in the community. There was a lot of talk about it, a lot of updates to reduce the lag and tick rate, increase the tick rate on servers, just to make things easier. I think straight away, it doesn't feel that instant. It's not instantaneous when you move it. I mean, there's the capture the flags. We all know these. Am I taking that? I'm taking it. I like the weather, but it does feel a bit. The sound's really good. Now, we've had a few complaints about the sound. That's server side, guys. So you can expect that to relax as the game gets more stability as the players start to level off on the initial rush and um, that's been happening on a lot of EA games to be honest today we've had um, complaints about Apex Legends and the sound issues are following through on them all have we captured it? initial thoughts guys, the looks are great, it looks great it feels softer than I expected though I mean just it's just the initial movement and the character feels bouncy as you walk a lot you might remember when we play um, Battlefield 3. You had this real heavy character feel and real instantaneous, I can't even say it guys, feeling. And then when you went to Battlefield 4, a lot of the community will remember, I'll get on with you, would I? Is it school? I've got to hold it? Okay. Oh, that's flat. Okay. Get grappling hook. I don't like that you got to hold it to get on. I mean, it should just be a press. It should be hold to get off because I hate when you reload in the vehicle and you just. Oh, this is all out war. Jesus. Can you flat, flat, flat? Where's flat? That's her fault. That's definitely flat's fault. Flat. So I just wanted to give you my initial impression straight away, guys, on the public beta. Um, and just to try bouncing off Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and Bad Company 2, because I know a lot of you in the community come from that area and that is what makes you so interested in the Battlefield series. Um, and a lot of you, like myself, completely just jumped the more, um, what should we say, the later era or the early area of the Battlefield, so Battlefield five which was battlefield v was it or battlefield Majority one and then battlefield v i can't remember but i just completely missed that era I prefer the modern era in this type of shooter so i know a lot you did so and that's what i'm trying to bounce off bad company too i think we can go away from that area and we can move towards more i think it's the battlefield three looks but with battlefield force technology and it definitely does feel battlefield force technology I'm just trying to get in the vehicle. Um, well, that's a cannon. They have control of sector alpha. Okay. So we're going Charlie one, Charlie one. Oh, that, that, that tank. So I'm trying to see if we've got. Okay. So I'll be honest, guys. It's not armored core. And um, so Battlefield Four, we had armored core. Was it Battlefield Four? Um, and you'll remember the cannons and that, just like this, where you shoot them and they really felt an impact. Um, that's not the case here, you're not getting that sort of impact. I'm going to go up here. Straight off the bat, guys, Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 veteran. I'm feeling it's not really 
it's not really got that stability behind it. And um, I think that may disappoint a few players. It's definitely got a few visuals, but the visuals are different. What the? It's definitely got the visuals, but they feel softer. Everything feels soft. There's nothing. I mean, even if you hit things, they probably just bend. It feels like everything is just going to bend. I'm dying to get in the Viper. It's not a Viper, though. I don't think I think it's a Havoc. No, that's a Viper. No, that's a Viper. Havoc can't fly like that. That's a Viper. Is it? Yeah, it's definitely a Viper. It looks heavy like a Havoc, but that's flying like a Viper. So I'm presuming it's a Viper. And then that looks like... Um, that looks like a Russian gunship. Definitely looking to get in this. Do you need a gunner putter? Hey, come pick me up! I'm interested to feel what the flying will feel like. Um, the big difference between Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, and a lot of you remember if you were to pick up on the lag, you would pick it up in the gunships and the Viper and the Havoc. The Havoc just became, I mean, it was just a bus on in the air. But the Viper, you could notice the difference straight away. It, would, it wasn't as agile and you could straight away feel it was delayed and laggy when you went from Battlefield 3 to 4, so that's why a lot of player base stayed with Battlefield 3 for that more instantaneous hit and feeling the game and I mean even today Battlefield 4 graphically stands up against this I would say it's more solid and the guns, the, like for instance the armoured core gunships and the shoot down, they feel more heavy and solid um, and I prefer that and I know a lot of you guys do But the Battlefield 3 instantaneous ability to be an instantaneous shooter and a rapid lagless shooter, I mean, it still stands up to that today. It to beats Battlefield here. 4 and it beats this. It definitely does. I'm trying to figure out, I mean, why is the... Why are the grenades on the D-pad? I don't know. I mean, I've never known that. I want the box. Do you want some, brother? Do you want some? I got a grenade for you! Oh. I'm trying to slide. He's getting handgunned. He's getting handgunned. Oh. Reloading now! Oh, he's there. Oh, use his tank. I'll have a go at that. Is it? Got turret. Wow, how fast was that? I mean, my initial impressions are disappointing for the feel. I was hoping for more for the from the feel. Although, as the graphics become ever so more pronounced in games and pushing the limits ever more, you do lose that instantaneous feel and you gain some more and more lag each time. Um, I mean, I don't like this either. Where, where I'm moving, for instance, so I'm moving now, guys, straight up, watch. And instead of going straight up to B1, it's going to HQ. And then if I move to E1 directly, well, that works. But when I move back, I'm moving to E1 now several times and it's not going over. And when I move back, it's not going down either. So let's try down. And then it goes to them. I mean, it's really not doing what it should do. And that is disappointing. If you use the D-pad, guys, is a bit of a tip here. Use the D-pad. And it's more direct. But yeah, on the analog sticks, it's not doing what it should do. And I hate... I think it's one of my pet hates on maps when you have a map and it just doesn't do what it should do. Whether it be zooming or controlling like this. So again, yeah, I think... Battlefield 4 had it had it implemented a lot better. It moved more instantaneous. But, but Battlefield 4, a lot of people couldn't bring up the map, you know. Um, and I've heard there's issues with the map on this on PC with the M button. It doesn't bring up the map. And on Battlefield 4, the map was so hidden. It was think it was like options, scoreboard, R1 or something like that. And a lot of people never knew it. I'd ask someone, I'd say, how do you get the map? I'd forget because it was so complicated. And even today, I'd say I can't remember how to get the map on Battlefield 4. But yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to just try it. We're gonna have to pull out like an instant player. 
Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 as a comparison. Just a memory because you, you play something like Mario and you go back 15 years later and you think, oh yeah, it was this, that and the other and the graphics were good and it was amazing. And then you go back 15 years later and you're like, it's rubbish. I mean, it might have seemed good then, the graphics were amazing, but it's rubbish now. So yeah. Oh, did we, did we do something? We killed someone. I got a grenade for you. Right, I'm, I'm after using this guy's hook, definitely. Come on, we're gonna die. Oh, yep. Yep, that'll do. Reloading, watch my back! Yeah, that's definitely a moment. Oh, look at him! You crafty little Let's just have a quick look at the um the options. Camera shake 100 percent I think we'll reduce that. Let's put it 7 there. Crossplay is on as default. Oh, wait. Is that two crossplay buttons? I don't like the menu. Just look at this guy. So is that on or off? There's off. What is on? I mean, because that's on, you presume that's off now. But look, I mean, you don't know which is which. It's on there and it's off there. And we've got then communication. It's got that whole PlayStation, the new PlayStation um, feel where you've got, look, so you've got one menu here on the top. If I move R1, look, and then if I move R2, but it actually does it better than PlayStation. Enable voice chat. I mean, we'll remove that. Is that on? Show network performance. And we could try that. We can see that on problems. Always. Let's see that. Graph. Aim lead indicator. I mean, it's pretty standard stuff. Field of view nine. Um, sound. Auto mono surround. And we'll go surround. Headphones, 3D headphones. I mean, even though they're being very plain and clear about what the menus are, I think it can still be confusing, especially the on and off. I mean, that's ridiculous. In world music is on, audio and background I presume is off. This is default. Controller, what have we got? I mean on foot buttons, vehicles, helicopter. A lot of people have changed the helicopter, I would myself. Helicopter pilot sticks, it'll be veteran. I don't think they've got veteran. And then they're not showing you what they're going to either. I mean that's a bit difficult. And accessibility, um motion blur. Vibration is on, but there's no vibration, guys. Okay, let's see if we can get to... He's flying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Buddy. Our forces have taken all of Sector Alpha. Buddy, come back. I mean, the vehicles do look nice, they sure look nice. Look at this, it's going VTOL. It was VTOL even. Hey, right, nice, nice, nice. He just left us here. The birds are crazy, guys. I mean, the birds are worse than the enemies. Psycho birds. Look. I mean, they're huge. Look, they're bigger than the helicopter. Well, there were before it disappeared. I mean, it's a mix here between Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4, some of the water levels, or even Battlefield 3. Do you remember the rice level with the rice fields, the paddy fields? Looks like that. Dwindling. I mean, just getting a look now and a visual feel for it. As the rocket launched, I presume the rocket's longer. Oh, you've still got the squad base, so you've still hit the shoulder button. And what have we got? Have we got enemy? Yeah. Mark the danger. Zero forty degrees. Objective mark. Move in. Okay, he's pretty precise with that, McKay. And let's call some in, guys. Let's see what that's like. So we got shoulder buttons. What do we want to call in? Um, Ranger, LT, Wildcat. I mean, I've heard this guy's just crazy, but at the moment, I think we definitely need a. 
transport. Deliver to the marker. We definitely need transport. The vehicle's on its way. Let's move to my marker. I mean, I'm not impressed by the menu system. Bottom left, guys. I think this is a bit too cartoony. Bottom right. Mm. It makes you miss Battlefield 4, guys. It really does. And this logo is just everywhere. But I think that's I think that's a good point. I think it makes you miss Battlefield 4 so much. Um, but I think that's something we get used to. I remember when a lot of the community went from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4. Many of the community including a member of my, myself, we stayed with Battlefield 3 while a lot of our friends went to Battlefield 4. And I can see that happening here guys, I can, keep, I can see a lot of people trying this and going back to Battlefield 4 for a, a good while. So giving us a bonus for the first match of the day. Some combat rigments. I mean, overall, I think that's the way I can see it happen. I think a lot of people are going to play this for a while and just, it's going to bring back so many of the memories of Battlefield 4 and what they want to see that they're going to go back towards that. I mean, that was it. I just wanted to give you first boots on the ground, guys, and the feel. Let me know what you think. Do you miss Battlefield 3, 4, Bad Company 2? Um, do you think the way I've compared the similarities between them? Do you think that's fair? Or do you feel I've been unfair with the comments, guys? But let me know in the comments. And um, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of Battlefield community and the new Battlefield era of gaming, then make sure you be subscribing, guys. See more cool videos just like this. With that being said, have a great day ahead. And I'll catch you on the field. Buddy, come back.